right, let's do some very quick styling on this to get the text to get wrangled inside these two picture frame edges. Um, so I'm going to talk to you a little bit about adding even more control to your CSS. First thing I'm going to do is add yet another div tag. And I'm doing this just for the purposes of helping you understand how functional the div tag is. I'm going to put this div tag right below the body, right below the body tag. And I'll close it right above the body closing tag. So now I've got one big div. And this big div, I'm going to give an ID. Um, ID equals, I'm going to call it main because this is often, oops, this is often what people call the main div, the div that is holding everything inside the body. And now I'm going to go over to my styles and add some widths for everything here. I don't want just individual divs. I want the whole page. Sometimes people um, name this div whole page or container. And let's go and style it. And the width I'd like to give it is something that is at least as wide as this image, which is 760 pic pixels. We'll start there. So I'll put this div below the global div. Um, I'm calling this the global div, div because it's got something that's happening to all the divs. This is going to be hashtag main because I'm styling just the main. And I'm going to give it a width. And what did I say? 760? Let's just take a look at that and see if it reined it in. Yes, it did. Look, all the text now on the right side is looking good. I might want it to be less because I want those images to be inside 10. There, that's looking pretty good. Maybe a little fix there. Let's make it 700. Oops. There, that looks good. Now let's get this left side wrangled in. Padding left. Padding left. And I'm thinking this is probably to get around that red, around this brown, and inside that shadow, maybe 100 px. Right. Oh, but look, that jumped out again. So now we just need to rein these in, and I think the width maybe should be 600. Let's take a look at that. That looks pretty good. And the last touch I'd like to do on this before I talk about something, other concepts, is I, I miss the bullets. I'm looking at the way this text is, and I see that the bullets really would have been helpful. So let's go back to styles and find that UL tag, list style type none. Let's make it square. Maybe that would be nicer. Save. Yeah, that's much more helpful for reading the information. Remember, it's critical that you make your information readable and approachable. All right, the next video, we're going to talk about some final steps.